Hey, 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 how's it going, everybody? Man, I am fired up tonight. I've got some good, good stuff to do over here. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and invite everyone. If you haven't already, this is a great place to connect with me because if you have questions after the webinar, um, you know, I'm gonna definitely try and do a little Q&A afterwards uh, for those of you. But um, sometimes people will have a question, you know, a little bit afterwards. And the best place to reach me is right here on my fan page. And uh, you can actually see right here, facebook.com forward slash coach. C Rod, Coach C R O D for Caesar Rodriguez. So if you see here, if you hop on over here, go ahead and drop me messages, say what's up. I definitely am fired up. So we're going to have some fun tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and kick right into it. Uh, for those of you that know me, you guys know I definitely like to cut straight into content. So uh, what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to share with you all how to approach and close people on what you're selling the same day without resistance, even if what you're selling is $50,000 and up. So that is me. For those of you that don't already know who I am, my name is Cesar Rodriguez. You can see I'm a 12 year network marketing direct sales veteran. I'm a speaker, I'm a trainer, I'm a peak performance coach. You know, fancy ways of saying that I help people make money and I definitely uh, do it all across uh, the country, all across the world actually. I'm, I guess you could say international now at this point. Um, but I don't want to, you know, make this all about me. I really just want to dive right in and really just kind of hit you guys with some content and uh, some training. So um, I'm excited. And one thing that you guys are going to find out about me is I like to have a lot of fun. So if you're not here to have fun, you know, I'm sorry, I'm going to have enough fun for both of us. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So in this training, I'm going to teach you how to get people to say yes to your product, service, or opportunity immediately and without them feeling like they want to think about it and without coming across as salesy or high pressure. Now, before you start letting your skepticism come in, because a lot of people think, you know, come on, is that really possible? You can, can I really get someone to spend $50,000, you know, without them thinking about it and without really being salesy? Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered how people like timeshare sales reps get violently uninterested prospects who come in with their arms crossed, crying broke, and checking their watch every five minutes to see if they've been on their mandatory presentation long enough to get their free gift to buy immediately the same day, spending $30,000 plus without going home and thinking about it, and without ever feeling like they've been sold, but rather like they bought. Well, you won't wonder anymore because you're about to learn the same hypnotic formula and sales process. I teach those very same sales pros on how to generate immediate yes decisions from even the most skeptical, uninterested prospects. In fact, for several years, I've trained this same formula that you're going to learn today in this webinar to the sales force of the number one timeshare sales company in the world. You can see here me, actually just some screenshots and some pictures of me doing that training sales reps for the number one company in the world. So I'm sure you can imagine. If you're dealing with prospects that are any more open-minded than timeshare tour prospects, which are pretty much every person and prospect on the planet Earth, then you can safely assume that everything you're about to learn will work that much easier for you. So whether you're trying to close multi-million dollar business deals, sell rocket ships to NASA, timeshare, or get people to say yes to any product, service, or opportunity you're marketing or selling, then the immediate yes formula sales process will be what you'll want to use and master from now on. Now, you may be asking yourself, for those of you that don't know me, who is this guy and how in the world did he come up with this magical formula and why should I believe anything this guy says? Well, because 12 years ago, before I was training the top timeshare sales reps, network marketers, internet marketers, direct sales reps from stage at the biggest events in the country and now in the world on the immediate yes formula, I was just a 21-year-old broke college kid working at the mall. All right, I was working at a GNC store at the mall and a guy came in to the mall that I was working at and prospected me and eventually recruited me to work for my first direct sales and network marketing company. Now, I saw regular people making tons of money and having a blast. And I got so excited that I nearly peed my pants. And here's what happened next. Now, disclaimer, my results are not typical. But my first four and a half months I got the Rodney King beat down for my friends and family. Now, I don't know if you can relate to this, but literally everyone I talked to for my first four and a half months completely inundated me with rejection. I mean, everyone told me I couldn't do it. I was in a scam. I was never going to make it. It was a stupid idea. I mean, I literally just w was so beat up by my friends and family that I didn't quit. 
But I definitely quit on my friends and family. And I said, you know what? Screw this friends and family crap. I'm going out into the cold market where people don't know me. Because you have to understand, I was 21 years old. All right. I was 21 years old, fresh, fresh out of college, actually still in college, then fresh out of college. And I just said, you know what? These people, the problem is they know me. They know I'm a knucklehead. They know I don't have any professional experience. You know, so forget them. I'm going out to the cold market and I'm going to find me some strangers. And then I got the beat down from total strangers. <laughs> I mean, it was brutal. I was like, when is the pain ever going to stop? I mean, I believed in what I did. And I don't know if you can relate to, to me right now, but you may or may not have something that you totally believe can help people. You can change lives. You know you have a solution to their problems. And you're passionate about it. And you're passionate about success. And you want to help people. That's how I felt. I wanted to create an impact. But everywhere I turned, no one would listen. And everyone beat me down. And it was ruthless. But I found out real quick why they called it the cold market. It was very cold and unforgiving. And I felt like a total loser. But I refused to quit. And I think that's the key. So if, if you're in that position right now, if you're listening to my voice and you're thinking, yes, I've been having trouble building my business. I get rejected and I'm sick of it. Here's the key. First key, first tip. Number one, refuse to quit. So instead what I did is I just did tons of personal development. You know, I heard a guy who was a multimillionaire and he said, you can only make what you are. And if you want to become more, if you want to earn more, you have to become more. So write that down if you're taking notes. If you want to earn more, you have to become more. So I knew really quick that I needed to become more. And all of the voices around me were so negative all the time. My sponsor, the gentleman that brought me in the business, he told me, hey, look, read books. I'll give you some audios. And he just bathed me. So I just literally bathed my mind and my subconscious and personal development. So that way I could at least counterbalance the negativity in the voices. So there's another tip for you, okay? Number one, do tons of personal development. and Try to outweigh the negative with positive. And my key was personal development. So within my personal development, I was told, hey, to get a big why. Now for me, that wasn't a problem because I had a huge why. It was my mom and my little sister. You can actually see them here in a picture. That's me, uh, you know, cuddled up with them. And my mom is, uh, you know, was not so much for my life, but for a lot of my little sister's life there in a picture of which I'm about nine years older. My mom was pretty much a single mom for most of her life. You know, so ever since I was a little kid, you know, um, I was nine, my sister was, you know, just being born and I pretty much took care of her. So, um, I'm, you know, at the time when I first started, I was single, I didn't have any kids, but I kind of did have a kid and that was my little sister. So I had a huge why, because I knew that she was going to be starting college soon. You know, I wanted to be able to help out with that. I wanted to be able to pay. I was pretty much her dad for her entire life. I mean, everything she did, I did. She played soccer. I coached, she played softball. I coached because, you know, my mom was like the head coach. I was like 16 years old on the sidelines as, as the assistant. So me and my mom pretty much raised my little sister. So my mom, is one of the most special people in the world to me, all right? So she had always believed in me. She always had my back for just about everything in life. Um, ironically, except when I first started this, you know, first direct sales network marketing company. <laughs> she told me I was an idiot. She told me I should, you know, it wasn't worth it, you know, and uh, and to quit, all right? She, she wasn't the most... She wasn't the most passionate person about me getting involved in this crazy endeavor. Because keep in mind, I just had my college diploma or I just got my, you know, I just graduated, had my diploma. And she's like, you want to do what? You're not even using your college education that we just paid a fortune for? You got to be crazy. But I vowed to take care of my mom. I vowed to take care of my sister. I wanted to be the type of person that could take care of them, retire my mom early, put my sister through school, take care of her, their needs for the rest of their life. So I had a huge why. So again, if you don't have a huge why, you definitely do need to get one. This is one of the biggest tips that I heard and it definitely helped me. But a big why was not enough. Um, but I did read to get a vision board. You know, someone said, hey, take cut out pictures of things that you want, put them all over board. Now, this is before the movie The Secret came out, by the way. Um, you know, I ju just was told test drive cars, take pictures of cars. And I did that stuff. And a lot of this stuff actually worked, you know. Um, and, and you can see right here, here's an actual picture of one of my vision boards. And you can see the hot babe in the middle that looks good in a bikini. Well, sure enough, I definitely got her. Uh, and there she is. That's actually Tanya Eliza. Many of you know her. She is a marketing guru and uh, she's actually, a, uh, you know, she just won an award at a big event, the expert of experts. She was crowned, you know, we were both on stage recently at another event. She was a panelist. So she's another, uh, you know, marketing guru. She's awesome. And she's my love. She's my passion. And again, one of my uh, whys. Um, I saw another one too. You can see here this one in the uh, corner. 
Uh, that's actually me. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. That's, that's actually Arnold Schwarzenegger's body. Um, I cut it out, you know, just put the, I figured I'd visualize my head on his body, right? Because, you know, I got to have the fitness goals. All right. So that one's still coming though. I'm sure that'll take a while. So, <laughs> so vision boards work. But guess what? That wasn't enough. Jim Rohn said, to make up in numbers what I lacked in skill. He's one of my favorite personal development uh, you know, mentors. And I figured since I was apparently short on skill, I took to the streets to play the numbers game. And here's what happened. My sponsor, who was a phenomenal prospector, I mean, this guy, I had, I was blessed to be sponsored in by someone who was incredible. All right. This guy loved me to death. He gave me tons and tons of advice and he gave me probably the best advice, which in the best type of, you know, coaching, which was tough love. And he told me, hey, look, man, if you want to make it, here's what you need to do. Get yourself a little black book, fill it up with a bunch of names, go out there and prospect the people. So I went out there and even though I was scared to death, each day in my career would start like this and it would end like this. It'd start like this and it'd end like this. It'd start like this and it'd end like this. It'd start like this and it'd end like this. Now I didn't make a couple of dollars, but every single day for like, I can't even tell you how long. I mean, I was just annihilated and beat up, but I was going out there and I was just hustling hard and I was just talking to people and just trying to play the numbers game because I didn't really have that much skill. I did enough personal development where I had some skill, but I let the streets be my other coach. Here was the problem. I literally heard every objection that you could possibly imagine. I'm skeptical. I'll call you when I'm ready. Let me get back to you on this. Do you have anything I can look over? Let me see how you do first. I need to do my due diligence. How much money have you made? You know, so... I mean, I got pummeled because I was playing massive numbers and I hadn't yet really refined my skill. I was kind of refining my skill as I went and then doing a lot of personal development, but you know, it takes time. But the one objection that drove me nuts was the, I want to think about it. Oh, I don't know about you, but to me, that was like nails on a chalkboard. I hated that because I didn't know what it was. And I want to tell you something. If you're hearing that I want to think about it, thinking about it is not an objection. I'm going to show you how to completely overcome all these objections here in a bit. But I was determined to be successful. So what did I do? I did even more personal development. I absolutely became obsessed with it. Because again, you can only make what you are. And usually you're just a few nuggets away. A lot of times people think, oh, I'm 90% off. No, I would tell you that you're probably 90% on. You're only about 10% off. And it could be one nugget. It could be one thing that you learn that changes everything. I can't tell you how many little one things that I've learned that took me to the next level. So what did I do? I started reading books, listening to autos, flying to seminars, buying courses, and studying anything on sales, psychology, NLP, which is neuro-linguistic programming for those of you that don't know, persuasion, influence, marketing, network marketing, communication, sociology, seduction, and closing. So I want you to understand something. I was in a network marketing company and I was reading books on sociology and seduction and neuro-linguistic programming and marketing. A lot of people say, well, Caesar, you don't need sales. I mean, you're just sharing your, well, you're just sharing your opportunity, right? Well, that's BS, okay? Anytime, and this is huge for duplication. If you're running any type of team, if you're a leader, if you're a manager, if you're a coach, you have to know sales. You have to know persuasion and influence because that drives duplication. And what made me strong is that I became like a mixed martial artist. You know, see, I could take a boxer and you could take a boxer and put him in the octagon in an MMA, you know, arena, and he's probably going to get his ass handed to him. Why? Because he's all well and good when we're throwing punches. But what happens when someone knocks him to the down, knocks him to the ground and starts throwing some wrestling moves on him? Well, he's very one dimensional. And what a lot of companies teach you is to be very one dimensional. I went outside of the box and I got all different kinds of skills and what happened was all of a sudden when I learned how to close, my skills became ridiculous. My confidence shot through the roof and I turned into a prospecting ninja. And that same little black book that I struggled to fill up with numbers, all of a sudden I became so multidimensional, multifaceted that I could now go to the same people that were telling me no and rejecting me, the same people that were skeptical and would look at me when I started approaching them. This is live footage, by the way. These are screenshots of live footage. And I would get the same people that were skeptical to start laughing. I would break the ice. I'd build a rep, little you know, conversation. And before you knew it, they were shaking my hand, giving me their number, and they were excited to do it. And it literally didn't matter who you were, guys, females. I was making you laugh, getting your info. You were writing it down. I was prospecting. It didn't matter if you worked at a bank. 
It didn't matter if you were shopping, right? It didn't matter if you were a bartender, a waitress, or it didn't even matter if you owned the restaurant like this guy right here. The result was I became lethal at being able to approach, prospect, pull numbers, call people back and get sales and get results. So the result was I filled up a few black books. You can see right there, those are the actual black books that I filled up in some of the business cards. 22 books at 160 pages each with an average of three names per page. That's conservatively over 10,560 people. That's ridiculous. And that's just the ones that gave me their number on a piece of paper. That doesn't, that doesn't count the napkins, the scrap sheets of paper, the throw it on the back of you know my business card. That was just handwritten numbers. So think about it. I didn't prospect. I didn't recruit. I didn't talk to 100% and pull numbers of 100% of people. So even if it was just double, I mean, that's 20,000 plus people. Oh yeah, that doesn't count the cell phone numbers. You know, 4,000 plus numbers in my cell phones, about 5,000 now. You know, oh, the business cards, this, the binders and binders of business cards, you know, all the scrap pieces of paper where I would try and aggregate me organized, right? Because I'd lose them all over the place. So, you know, I'd put them down in, you know, little spreadsheets. I'd, I'd at least try to be organized and then I'd usually quit, right? <laughs> you know? And, uh, and of course, you know, I've got, you know, business cards literally all over my house. It's funny, my girlfriend actually said, when uh, the first time she ever came to my house, she said, oh my God, she goes, you could start like a co-op or like a lead share program and just have people come to your house and call all these leads. Because I mean, I've just, I just collect tons of them. They're all over the place. It's literally, it's unconscious. It's second nature now. So needless to say, I had mastered the art of prospecting and I had gotten great results. I hit the top level of my company when I was about 24 years old. Uh, so it took me some time, it took me like two and a half years you know, and, uh, you know, which now, you know, I look back and to me, that's really slow back then. I was also one of the youngest people in my company to do that. My company, you know, it doesn't matter what company it is some of you guys know, some of you don't, but at that time when I was building, this is like 2001, two and three. I mean, there was no young people. I mean, I was like always the youngest person in the room. So it was a real big deal when at 24 years old, I hit the top level of my company and people started asking me to speak and a train. And, uh, and I became known as like, you know, this master, you know, prospector and closer. Um, so I got the results, but I, I really didn't. When I look back now, I thought I was good. But when I look back, I didn't really and truly master the art of closing until I was prospected by my best friend to sell timeshare for the number one timeshare sales company in the world. Now, I was really skeptical. I did not want to have a job. All right. And I'm not going to bore you with all the details. It's kind of a long story of how I even got to this point and the fact that I was even somewhat open to it. Um, but it's kind of like a really crazy up and down story. I've shared it on previous webinars. This one, I'm just, you know, we're going to cut, you know, we're going to shave some time off. But the bottom line is I got prospected and my best friend said, look, I've got a friend that's making $10,000 a month and he's get and he gets off at 2 PM every day. And I definitely had a huge vision because I needed to make a lot of money for a couple of reasons. One of which is I had a startup company, which a lot of you guys know, activitytracker.com, which I actually built with the money that I made from saying yes to this opportunity. A lot of times you're just one yes away from having a huge breakthrough and taking your game to the next level. So I decided what the heck and I went for it. All right. And here's what ended up happening. I found out real quick that there was a whole nother level when it came to the art of persuasion and influence. I'm talking a whole nother level. You see, in network marketing, which is what I did, or you know, and you could take any sales. I don't care if you sell cars, real estate, houses, mortgages. It, it doesn't matter if you sell stuff at the mall like I used to. You know, there's you're typically not closing people for a, a huge amount of money, typically. And typically, they can go home and think about it and take time. And typically, they're somewhat open because they walked into your store, or you asked them if they kept their options open, and they were like, yes, sure, I do. But in timeshare, the prospects that can't come in, they were basically, oh, some of them tricked to go on this presentation. And someone called them and they said, hey, how'd you like to go on a free vacation? We'll give you a show tickets and, and a free dinner. And all you got to do is sit through this little 90 minute, you know, spiel. And you don't even have to buy anything. You just have to, you know, attend. And these people would go every single day. They would do that and pound hundreds of people into, you know, these sales floors that I happen to work at one. And these people would sit down. And they would start their conversation with me and they'd say, hey, Caesar, uh, or no, <laughs> before they even knew my name, they would meet my hand, shake my hand in the lobby and say, hey, how's it going? Oh my God, buddy. I am so sorry that you got me because honestly, I'm only here for the vacation. I'm totally broke. I'm here with my family. The only reason we even 
our, our came on vacation was because our house burned down last month. We've got three kids in college and my wife just lost her job. So we're down to one income and you know, we're just so stressed out. We just needed a break from it all. And this company of yours called us and offered us a free vacation. And because we couldn't afford a real vacation and pay for ourselves, we figured this would be the only one. And they said we didn't have to buy anything. And they said they just wanted our opinion on our new resort. So here I am today, and I'm really sorry that you got me because I'm not here to buy anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't do it today, wouldn't do it within the next couple of years. And I certainly would never, ever consider doing anything today. Oh, by the way, my name is John. This is my wife, Mary, and these are my children. <laughs> I can't tell you, that sounds crazy, right? But I can't tell you what, how many of my presentations started like that. And they would say, by the way, my name is, after they puked on me for like five minutes telling me how they were no way in tarnation ever going to be able to do business. And they especially wouldn't do it that day with me. But do you know what happened? I went through the cycle, the cycle that everyone goes through. I got obliterated. That stuff used to kill me, used to phase me, used to throw me off my game. And they do that and I was killed from the start. I was dead, dead in the water. But then I did the same exact thing. See, there's a formula for success. You know, it's funny because, you know, um, I thought of this the other day. And I know a lot of people will steal this. I don't think I've stolen it from anyone, but I was on a phone call the other day and someone was just, you know, they asked me that they said, look, what's, what do you think the secret to success is, Caesar? And I just had this huge epiphany. I said, you know, the secret to success is that there is no one secret. There are multiple secrets. There's hundreds, there's thousands of secrets. I have probably hundreds of secrets to success. One of them is to do massive personal development in your field and to do massive personal development in surrounding fields. See, it's like if you want to work a part of your body, you know, let's say that you want to like work your chest. You, I want to have a big burly chest. Well, guess what? Part of the key is you're gonna need to work your shoulders. You're gonna need to work your triceps. You need to work those surrounding ligaments, all right? And that's what people don't do. But what I did was I got every book that you could possibly imagine from, from Amazon. I started getting audios. I got in, listened and trained under people and guess what ended up happening? Sure enough, I became a prospecting ninja. But I had something else. I had once again an unbelievable mentor and a coach. I had the opportunity to talk with someone all the time. I found the number one timeshare people. I got buddy buddy with them. I found out what they were saying, you know, and I said, hey, I would do something and then I would check in with them and be like, hey, here's what I said. They say, that's where you went wrong. Hey, you didn't do this. But what ended up happening was sure enough, with enough personal development, with enough practice in the field, all of a sudden I became a number one timeshare sales rep with that company as well. So I was literally at the same exact time with my network marketing company. I was winning trips to go to Cancun here, you know, to go to Dominican Republic with my network marketing company because I was still, you know, top earner with that company. And then I was double dipping, you know, with a full-time job and again, making another five figures a month, you know, doing this. And I was, you can see there, that's pictures of me with the CEO of this company. That's me and my mom. I was able to take her on vacation. I pretty much have, my, my mom and my little sister have been all over the, the world with me. I mean, I take them every time I win a vacation and go anywhere, I always invite them, pull them along. Cause you, you know, I usually get to uh, bring someone. Well, now I have a girlfriend and you know, so they understand I take her everywhere. <laughs> but what ended up happening is I realized that there was a whole nother level. Now I look back you know, with my skills. And I go, I can't believe I even thought that I knew how to sell people. Or I, I can't even believe, even when I was a top earner in my network marketing company, I thought I knew stuff. I didn't know anything. But that's how it always is, right? You always look back and go, gosh, I really didn't know anything. Okay. So why do you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that everything that I say and everything that you're about to learn from me works? Well, bottom line is it's been tested. It's been tested in multiple fields and with on over 10,000 plus people. See, I, before I even knew the immediate yes formula, and I had just nailed aspects of it without even really knowing, I was able to achieve top earner status and live a really great lifestyle. But it was when I found out everything and I reverse engineered the sales process that everything really dialed in. So if you're doing good and you're looking for the next level, and, and I'm telling you, I know this webinar is full of achievers, so I know there's people out there that are doing good. But guess what? Good is the enemy of great. And if you want to be beyond great, then you if you want to be outstanding, 
then you need to get the slight edge. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. So with that being said, I happily introduce you to the media yes formula and how to get anyone to say yes to anything, anytime, anywhere, without them feeling like they need to think about it and without coming across as salesy or high pressure. And I'm going to share something with you. Don't worry about the amount because those same people that told me I will never do anything. I have no money. I can't even tell you how many of those people have walked out hugging me, loving me, thanking me, saying I am the, I was the answer to their prayers and thank God they met me because I was able to set them up and I was able to help them find the money. People that said, oh, I have no money. So a lot of you guys right now, I got to say, I don't know who I'm talking to. Sometimes I just get like these, you know, these, you know, these things, these thoughts. And I know that, and someone always says, man, that was for me. If you right now are thinking that you're, everyone you're talking to is broke, you just haven't found the money. Okay. You haven't built, you haven't built what I'm going to show you. you. You haven't fully gotten and nailed the system down for closing that I'm going to share with you. And that's why you're getting money objections because I can tell you, and it's funny because you know, obviously being in, you know, in the background that I had, I'd be in timeshare and I would talk to people and they'd say, oh yeah, someone just pitched me on an opportunity. Oh, you do those types of businesses too. Yeah. I just got exposed to something. You know, why didn't you buy? Oh, I didn't, couldn't afford it. Didn't have money. Then yet I would finish up with them and they would drop 30, $40,000 and they would go, oh, well, you know, we do have that 401k money. Oh, we do have that money from our father's estate. Oh, you know, well, we, we could always just get a, a, you know, we do have that equity line. We could just tap into that. Oh, we do have those credit cards. So there's money. And if you're believing that, you know, people don't have money right now, you know, you're probably leaving a lot on the table. So here's the immediate yes formula. Okay. In order, and you can see here broken down and I'm going to break it down for you even more on the next slide here, but the immediate yes formula this is what it looks like. I, Y equals a plus S plus P plus I plus T C plus R. So immediate yes equals action plus solution plus problem plus information plus trust and credibility plus rapport. Now, in order to formulaically trigger an immediate yes response from someone, you must have all of the following elements in your sales process. Now, whether in person, in phone, on a sales video, on a sales letter, you want to make this your sales process and design your presentation around this formula. Now, failure to incorporate all of the steps in your sales process will ensure that your immediate yes formula turns into an immediate yes coincidence or an I'll think about it and get back with you guarantee. Now, in order to get your prospect to say yes immediately, there has to be a reason why they take action right away. That's your urgency. So what we're doing here is we're reverse engineering the sales process. This is what I did when I was just at the top of my game and I said, how is it I'm able to get all these people to say yes and they don't think about it. They don't give me objections. They just, they buy when I tell them to. I literally reverse engineered what it takes to get an immediate yes and in order to get that immediate yes, you have to have an action. So that's like your close, your call to action, all right, whether it's online, offline, your close, aka, has to be laced with urgency. So there has to be some type of reason why they buy today. And in order for them to take an action like buying and spending money, you have to have a solution to their problem. I mean, doesn't that make sense? You could say, hey, this is the last one left, buy today. But if they're like, I don't care, I don't need what you're selling, it doesn't make a difference. So there has to be a solution. And in order for there to be a solution, you of course have to have what? You have to have a problem. So you have to know what it is that their problems are. And how in the world are you going to find out what their problems are, you know, if, if you don't know anything about them, right? In order to get their problems, you're going to need some information about them and their situation. Now here's the challenge. In order to get that information, they're going to have to trust you and believe that you have their best interests at heart and believe that you're credible enough to help them. Now that's a bit of a challenge because how in the world are you going to have the opportunity to build trust and credibility if they don't like you? They're not going to listen to you. So in order for you, for them to even want to listen to you or want to do business with you, they're going to have to feel that there's enough rapport built up so that they like you. So this is what the formula breakdown looks like. I'm going to give you a shortcut to remembering it. It's build, build, find, find, present, present. So B2, F2, P2. Here's a quick way to remember it. So it's chunked into three main categories, build, find, and present, and each one's hit twice. So from start to finish, it looks kind of like this. You build rapport and you build trust and credibility with your prospect. Then you find the information that you need, and then you find the problem within that information. Then you present the solution, 
which is your product, service, or opportunity. And then you present that action or that urgency. Now, you don't have to have them all exactly in order. In fact, if you've ever watched me in action, I know no one really has, but most of the stuff that I do, it's not always in order. I might start off with one thing and, you know, transfer to another and, you know, build my trust and credibility later on the back end of my conversation with someone, but it all has to be in there. And if you miss any steps, you sabotage your chances of getting an immediate yes. And I'm going to show this to you and prove this to you. Now, test this out. And I want you to test it out for a second. I'll even give you a couple examples. What objections would happen if instead of doing, you know, each step twice, like B2, F2, P2, you only just did them once. So you just built rapport found information, presented a solution, or the other way around. So let me give you a, a real life example. So this is like the immediate yes formula, you know, uh, pyramid here. So you can really see it nice and clear. So what would happen if in your presentation, and this is what I kind of call the newbie, or the rookie sales presentation, this is what most new people do. And again, it's not, it's not your fault if you're doing this, by the way. You just have not been taught properly yet. You've just been taught the same cookie cutter presentation that your company probably teaches all the salespeople or teaches on stages or in your workbooks. Why? Because they say, oh, they don't want, they can't tell you. I want you to understand something. I'm a trainer, okay? I was one of the people on stage teaching people this. You have to dumb things down for the masses. Because if you get too, you know, if, if you get too specific, you lose, you know, the the person that was just in this thing to make two hundred dollars, you know, a month. You know, someone just signed up part time. They just want to make two hundred dollars a month. If you start using the word sales, they go, oh, "I don't want to sell anything. I'm out of here." But at the end of the day, everything is sales. You sell your kids on doing their homework. You, every one of us on this on this webinar, you are the result of a sales pitch. I know my dad sold my mom on having sex. And I was born. Right? Then he's, he also sold her on marriage. He also sold her on a whole lot of things. And you are the same way. Someone sold your mother and boom, here you are today. Right? So sales is everything. But people are so scared of that word. So they avoid it. They avoid getting sales training. And then they tank it and they wonder why. You know. So here's the newbie approach. And this is what most companies teach. Build a little rapport. Get some information and give them the solution. So it looks like this. Hey, how's it going? Great. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's so cool. You have a dog too? Wow. So do I. Oh my God. That's the same dog. Where are you from? Wow. That's crazy. Me too. Oh my God. I've got so much family there. Wow. And then in your head you go report check. And then you go, Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you keep your options open when it comes to making more money? Or Hey, I've got this really cool product service. You got to check this thing out. It's cool. Hey, would you be open to that? And they go, yeah, yeah, sure. I keep my options open. Sure. I'll you know check it out. And you go, great. And then you go, no, no, no. And you start puking your solution all over them. And you go, oh my God, it's the best, it's a growing company. We're doing this and we're doing that and we're breaking records and we're top 10 in the world and we're in this magazine. Then you start whipping out magazines and brochures and you start pitching your solution. So what do you think happens? They don't trust you yet. You haven't, you haven't built any trust or credibility. So you're gonna see all the objections that happen when you don't build trust and credibility in a minute, but you could imagine, right? They're gonna think about it. They don't trust you. They don't trust your word. You know, they don't know, you haven't built any urgency. So even if they do like it, it's not like there's a big rush, right? Hey, if it's here today, it'll be there tomorrow. I've heard this a million times. If it's a deal today, it's a deal tomorrow. I used to hear that all the time in timeshare. That's what my grandpappy taught me, <laughs> right? So guess what? And you didn't really get any problem. So if you don't have a problem and, and I want, here's, this is magic. Okay. This is huge. If you want to sign someone up or close anyone on anything, the problems that you find have to outweigh in the prospect's mind, the dollar amount of the solution. So if you want to sell something for, you know, $500, you better build a thousand to $2,000 problem. And then they'll look at that with no, like, oh, okay, that's no big deal. 500 bucks is no big deal. If it's going to save or make me 2000. So a lot of times we don't know how to find problems and I'll, you know, that's a tough thing to do. It really is. If you're not skilled and you're not trained on how. That's the newbie mistake, right? Here's the expert one. Here's, here's the veteran mistake. They go like this. Veteran, so you start to get a little bit of money. You know, you're successful. You got some stuff. You got some cred. Now, all of a sudden, you go, hey, how's it going? <laughs> you know, you know who I am. Check me out. I'm a, top, I'm a top earner. Hey, by the way, I can tell here I'm making a lot of money, and you're really not. I got So you got a problem. You're not making as much as I am. So you want to sign up with me because I'm number one, and I'm killing it. And you better go ahead and, and jump in right now and take action because if not, I'm not going to work with you or I've only got limited spots left or whatever. So they go with their trust and credibility. They create a problem in their prospect's mind. Now, they didn't get any information. 
So they didn't really find out. They just kind of created their own one problem that they might have. Or maybe they got a problem. The person said, yeah, you know, I really don't have any money. Oh, oh, then you need to sign up with me. I've got just a solution. But you didn't get a core problem. You didn't get, you didn't get a ton of them. You didn't get enough. And you didn't really do a great product service or opportunity presentation because you just leveraged off of your trust credibility. You found a little problem, then you went right into the urgency. So guess what? What objections do you think you're going to get there? You're going to get a ton, and I'm going to show you what you're going to get. But you can see here, you missing any one of these elements is not going to work because they're, they're not even going to like you if you don't build rapport. Rapport is everything. So the key in crafting a successful presentation that gets people to say yes, regardless of what it costs, 50000 100000 I've sold... I've sold anything you could, I've sold millions of dollars of people and they did not think about it. They did not go home. They didn't even give me any objections. Why? Because I mastered each step. I knew what I had to have from each step. And that is the key. You have to know what you must have from each step before you move on to the next step. You have to know what you have. That's the key. People think they have rapport, so they move on. They think, you think you're building trust and credibility, but you're probably doing it wrong. You're sounding salesy. You're talking about yourself too much. You're doing it all wrong. So then what ends up happening is you proceed through the, this, these steps and you think, I, I got this, and you really don't. I can't tell you how many people thought that they had built rapport with folks, and then I would hop on like the back end, you know, I would talk, you know, and it didn't matter if it was timeshare, it didn't matter if it was coaching. I would talk to prospects after someone had already talked to them, and they'd say, man, this person really likes me, and oh my God. And then the person goes, man, I don't really, that person's, uh, they're annoying. <laughs> you know, they're so misinformed because they just smile away, and they don't really tell you the real deal unless you get into that family mode. And you got to get really tight on the rapport where they start looking at you as family and start opening up. So then the key is to progress only after you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you've nailed each of the previous steps. Now, every one of the elements in the immediate yes formula is vital, vital. And missing one or progressing past one before it's time will create objections that will prevent you from getting an immediate yes. For example, let's pretend you miss action. So you don't have a good close. It's not laced with any type of urgency. You're going to get what I call the be back bomb. And they're going to say, well, I'll be back later. I'll, let me think about it and I'll be back. And they're just going to procrastinate. And these objections sound a little something like this. I get paid the Friday after next. Can I call you then? Let me get back to you. Let me see how you do. I'll call you when I'm ready. Next month will be a better month. Next year will be a better year. I never make spur decisions. Let me get back with you on this. What's the difference between today and tomorrow? If it's a deal today, it's a deal tomorrow. I need a mullet over. And of course, I want to think about it. Right? Have you ever heard any of these? Look, as I'm going through these, I want you to be thinking, if you've heard any of these objections, this is a hint. This might be where you're missing it. How about this one? What if you are not properly presenting your solution? Okay, now your solution is what you sell, how you frame it. You have to frame it as a solution to their problem. So if you're not doing a good presentation, your product, service, or opportunity, and most people aren't, most people, hey, look, I thought I was doing, I was making sales and making money. And then I realized I really wasn't doing that great of a presentation. I got, I got a little comfortable, but then I got uncomfortable. I learned some new skills and then I realized, oh, wow, that's why everyone's been telling me now. So guess what ended up happening? If you miss the solution, you're going to get no interest obliteration. So again, you didn't, you botched what you were trying to explain. So what are you going to get? You're going to get, no, I'm not interested. Let me get back to you on this. You know, I'm not saying no, I'm just not saying yes. You know, I don't have the money. You know, this looks like a pyramid. <laughs> so do you have anything I can look over? Right. Because, you know, they didn't really get it. So again, that's a no. Okay. Um, how about this one? If you missed a problem, oh, this is huge. This is like, if you don't get their problem, you're going to miss their hot buttons and they're never going to part with their money. And you're going to get the because bomb. The because bomb is when they say, I can't because, and those objections look like this. I can't because I don't have the time. You know, uh, it, it's not that important to me. You know, let me run this by, you know, my friends, my accountant, you know, I need, you know, I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I have kids. I love that when people are like, oh, I've got, I've got kids. I'm like, what? Isn't that the reason you should do this? <laughs> right. People act like kids are a disease. Last I checked that, you know, it was like, you know, you know, they were a blessing, right? <laughs> like, I can't do that. I've got the kids. And I'm like, oh my God, how long have you had that? Is there a cure? You know, <laughs> how about this one? You know, every, if you miss this, if you miss the information. So again, you got to not just have a problem. You have to learn how to create problems. You need to learn how to amplify problems. You need to learn how to find them and dig two, three levels deep. Because the problem you think you have, someone goes, oh, I don't have the money. That's not a problem. Are you kidding me? What if there's a problem deeper than that? All right? Well, if you're not hitting it, and if you don't know their core problem, which they're never going to confess to you if you don't get the right information, because you got to find problems. It's like digging for gold. But you got to, of course, ask the right questions. You have to get that information. You have to get them spilling their beans and sharing their information. And if you don't, 
everything you say is going to be pointless and you're going to get apathy annihilation. And these objections look like this. Eh, it's not that important to me. It's not my thing. No. I mean, I can see why this is good for other people. I don't have the time. I, I just can't decide. You know, uh, it's not for me. You know, I, I want to think about it. I don't, I don't really care. It's not, it's not really my thing. It's not my cup of tea. When you get those objections, it's because you did not get the right information. So you were not able to craft the problem. And again, how you, can you craft the problem if you're not going to get the right information? You know you need the problem. Because you can't offer a solution without a problem. What if you miss this one? Trust and credibility. It's a big one. You know, they're going to be skeptical and nothing you're going to say will matter. And you're going to get what I call the research rocket. Right? So they don't trust you. And, and by the way, most people are taught to lean on the credibility of their company. Most people are taught, hey, mention that the company is this many years old. Mention that, you know, point to all these documentations and all these magazines. You know why? Because it's easier to just, that's just a shortcut. It's like a, it's a cheap shortcut to just say, oh, my company was rated this. And you think that's credibility, but they don't need credibility in your company, man. People don't sign, people don't join businesses and buy, people buy people. They have to believe you're credible. I can now know how to create so much trust and credibility myself. No one's ever researched. People don't research when I tell them to do something if I built trust and credibility. Are you kidding me? You know how many people, if they research your company, are going to find dirt? And that's why people if they say, oh, I'll be back. They go on the internet. They find research. They, they, they go out there and they found, find stuff. And guess what happens? And they don't sign up because they go, oh, no, I, I've changed my mind. It's not really for me. That's not what happened. What happened was they put your company in Google, saw a whole bunch of dirt. And now, they, they don't, now they're not going to sign. They're not going to tell you that because if they tell you that, they know you're going to try and overcome it. So the key is learning how to build trust and credibility in you so that they buy you. So they don't need to go on the internet and search because you said it was good and that was good enough for them. And you can get to that level of trust and credibility. But if you don't, here's what happens. You get the research rocket. And that looks like this. I'm skeptical. I need to do more research. Let me see how you do first. I need to do my research. I need to talk to my wife. I need to, of course, do my due diligence. Do you have any literature? Oh, let me buy the. Let me run this by my parents or kids, uncle, friend, accountant, lawyer, financial planner. You know, this looks like a pyramid. I haven't made up my mind yet. Oh, let me get back with you on this. I'm skeptical. You know, you don't possibly expect me to do this without talking to my husband, do you? And my wife, do you? Oh my God. The bottom line is, they're going to be skeptical. And they're going to need to do more research. And I can't tell you, by the way, for those of you skeptics out there listening to my voice right now, thinking, oh, but Caesar, come on. You know, husbands don't sign up without wives. Really? You're just assuming that, right? Because obviously you don't know the real deal because I can't tell you how many people, we call them in timeshare, one-legged tours, one leg of the household. I got the wife, but without the husband. The wife says, I can't do anything without my husband. My husband controls all the money, does it. By the time I was through with him, they were calling their husband saying, I need the credit card. We're buying this and we're going to ring it up for about $30,000. And the husband was like, what? But I built so much trust and credibility that they just, I said, you should go ahead and do it. And they did. And I did that countless times, guys. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, really, some of you guys are struggling to get decisions, you know, for two, three, four hundred dollars or whatever. You know, I mean, give me a break. All right. So, I don't know what I just did here. I did some. There we go. <laughs> so, I mean, you got to have trust and credibility and build it right. And rapport. Look, it all lives and dies off of rapport. And if you don't have rapport, they're not going to reveal much to you. And they won't even want to do business with you. And you're going to get what I call the smoke screen. Okay, the smoke screen, you don't know what it is. Because that's where they go, well, let me see how you do first. Now's not the time, you know, let me get back with you on this. You're going to hear every objection. You don't know what it is because guess what? It doesn't matter. They're all smoke screens. None of them matter. It's just they don't like you enough to buy. And that's, that one will mess with your head. And you'll never believe it. You'll never understand why. But nine times out of ten, it's just going to be, yeah, I want to think about it. And all it is is there, you don't have enough rapport built with them for them to actually tell you what it really is. So that's what you're going to get. So – Here's the tricky part. The tricky part is what you think is your weakest link typically isn't. Because remember, if you're having problem in any one area or any of the steps, it's usually the result of a weak execution of one of the previous steps. Okay? So, for example, what ends up happening is you think you 
are, so for example, this is like coaching calls, right? So, so many times I get people that go, oh, you know, it's, it's not my, it's not the solution. I mean, I can pitch my product like crazy. Yeah, I'm amazing at doing it, you know, and guess what ends up happening? You know, it's not that it's, it's a problem. Caesar. people aren't people. I'm not able to find and create the problem. Well, guess what? It's probably not. It may not be the problem. It may, it may be that you're not getting the right information because you don't know the questions to ask or, or you don't know how to ask them. You don't know how to go two, three, four levels deep and dig to find. So it's not the problem. It's, it's, you're not finding the problem because you're not giving it to you because you're not asking the right questions or asking them properly. Or maybe you are, but guess what? They're not telling you the real story because you don't have enough trust and credibility. So you don't trust you enough. Do you tell, do you gossip to people that you don't trust? Say, Hey, can you keep a secret? You know, that person can't keep a secret. You're not going to tell them anything. Or if they're looking at you and they go, he's a salesman, this person's a salesman. I'm not going to tell him anything good that he might use to sell me. That's a huge thing. People do that all the time. They will intentionally, because they're scared that you're going to use, you know, what they're going to say against you. They're intentionally not going to tell you anything. Or do you tell someone your problems or maybe you're not being credible enough? Look, for me, that was my thing, guys. Like this may not be you, but for me, I had massive credibility issues because I psyched myself out and said, well, I'm too young. No one's going to believe me. You know, I'm only 22 years old. I'm asking people that are like 40 and 50, do you keep your options open when it comes to making more money? You know, I'm over there like trying to be professional. So I tried to like, I tried to do all these things, man. I would like dress up and wear shirts and ties and suits and do all these things to try and get credibility where really it was within me. And I just didn't know how to talk and frame the credible areas of my life. I didn't know how to make myself credible in their eyes. So that could be your problem. So maybe you're asking all the right questions, but you don't know how to build trust and credibility. And for most of the people that I've coached and worked with, most of the times they're missing it in the first two steps. Okay. Or it's rapport. And again, you're, and you might be going, Caesar, no, 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 it's not trust and credibility. I am great at building trust and credibility. You might be saying all the right things to build trust and credibility. But guess what? If they don't like you, they're just going, is this guy done talking yet? Oh my gosh. God, this, this guy really talks about himself a lot. A lot of people do not know how to talk about themselves without sounding arrogant, without looking like they're salesy, right? If you walk on a car lot and then the fir first couple seconds, the car salesman goes, Hey, how's it going? So where are you guys from? And he starts chatting you up and he starts building all this rapport and he's charismatic and he's funny. But guess what? You just got, you know, in your head, this guy's a salesman. He's just chatting me up because he's trying to build a rapport to sell me. That's 90% of your prospects are looking at you like that, unless you know how to break that and come at them with a different angle. So in order to flow through the formula smoothly, eliminate objections before they come up, and to have everyone you talk to hypnotically want to tell you yes immediately, you have to learn and master each step individually. Now I'm going to tell you something. When you nail every one of these areas, attraction is not a choice. People that buy, they, they can't... It, people that buy immediately, it's the same people that are skeptical and that are telling you no right now. Those same people, if you nailed every one of these areas, it's just like love at first sight. You just get that love. It's like they, everything just made sense. They, you have left no objections on the table because you nailed everything. I showed you just about every category of objection you're going to get. But if you nail these areas, there's literally nothing they can say. And if they can't say no, there's only one other option and that's yes. And they buy immediately without objections. And this works for everything. So by now you're probably feeling like you have a decent grasp of the immediate yes formula, how it works and why you get certain objections, which is great. That was the goal of this training video. And if you think back to the beginning of this video, you recall that I told you I'd show you the formula for getting anyone to say yes to your product, service or opportunity immediately. And I have now we're not done. I've got something really awesome that you guys are going to be so fired up that I'm sharing with you. So I did do that by teaching the immediate yes formula and how to get people to say yes to your product, service or opportunity. Now, if you like what you've learned so far, and you want to take your education to the next level and master each of the elements of the immediate yes formula, I've got a ridiculous treat for you because this is going to help you to become a master of persuasion and a closing ninja. And you're going to love it because I'm actually going to show you how you can get something really cool for free, which is just about everybody's favorite work. So what is that thing? Well, this really cool, awesome bonus that I have for all you guys staying on this webinar as long as you have is I'm going to share with you this crazy thing that's happened to me. Okay. So for the past several years, I've been bombarded with requests from people who want to get personal coaching from me. All right. Bomb bombarded, like peep my phone ringing off the hook. This is not a joke. This is not exaggeration. This is real. People over the years have said, Caesar, I will, I need to have some of your one-on-one -on -one time. I want you to personally coach me. My sponsor sucks or I'm already, you know, I need better coaching or training. I, I need a different voice 
you know, and, and that's the thing. Look, again, they've gone as high as they can go mentoring wise knowledge in their company. They need to get something different. You know, it's like you've mastered Kung Fu. Now you want to learn jujitsu. All right. And I've had so many people with money saying, Hey, look, I'll fly out to wherever you are. I'll pay you $3,000 to sit down and coach me one-on-one -on -one and to teach me how to approach and close people the way you do. Because that has been my thing. It's approaching and closing. I can break the ice with people and I know how to take that relationship and run it through an immediate yes formula and literally sell whatever the heck I want and have people begging me to buy immediately. But here was the thing. I would always turn these folks down. And I mean, this didn't happen once. This has happened. It still happens today. And I would just say, look, I appreciate the offer, but I just don't have the time. And some of you guys are going, what? Someone, Caesar, you turned down $3,000 for to sit down with someone for an afternoon or a weekend. Like, are you serious? And I'm, yes, because it's not in line with what I'm doing. And I can make that money and do make that money all the time anyway, you know, in a day without having to do that. So it's not in line with what my mission statement. See, I was, I want to touch lots of people. I want to pour my heart into the masses and change tons of lives. Like the mentors that taught me, Brian Tracy, Jim Rohn, Anthony Robbins. I mean, I want to touch the masses. And I would always hate turning people down because the people that reach out to me are like my biggest fans. And each time I wish that I had a way to give my fans exactly what they wanted and needed to take their business to the next level. So I thought, wait a second, wait a second. The problem is here is I don't have the time. I'm working on all these different projects. I got my startup company. I've got all these other things that I'm, that I'm, that I'm doing and I'm building in my other companies. And so what, wait, what if I just created a virtual coaching program that did exactly what I would do with someone if I met with them one-on-one -on -one for an afternoon? Like, what if I just get, like, obviously if someone's going to sit down with me, I'm going to blueprint. If someone's going to pay me three to $5,000, I'm going to blueprint out that meeting like crazy. I'm going to give them a workbook. I'm going to walk through everything. I'm going to say, look, we're going to go through this things one-on-one. -on -one. That's what people wanted. So I said, and what if instead because this way I could do it on autopilot, but give them the same experience. But instead of charging them three to $5,000, how great of a steal would it be if they didn't have to buy a hotel room, if they didn't have to pay for a plane ticket, if they didn't have to take a weekend out of their life and they could go through this training over and over again, instead of three to $5,000, they got the same three to $5,000 value and experience. But what if I only charged $1,000? But wait a second. I thought $1,000 is a steal. But again, my mission is to touch the masses. So I thought, what if instead of helping only a privileged few, what if I instead got ridiculous and fulfilled my mission to impact the masses and instead I only charge $595 for the same hours of same personal training that I'd normally charge three to $5,000 for? I mean, that would be ridiculous. It would be the steal of the century because most people in your company, you could learn one or two things. Like I said earlier, it's just one or two breakthroughs that you could possibly learn that will take you into the next stratosphere of your business. It's just one or two things. Everyone thinks, oh, what if it's, what if you sat down with someone and they gave you a couple of tips on finding the problem or a couple of tips on some unique ways of building rapport that don't come across as salesy, fly completely under the radar and hit someone in their subconscious so they feel like they love you and they just met you. What if you just learn that one little thing? You think it would net you an extra $595 a year over your lifetime? Well, what about a week or a month? Absolutely, would it be worth it? But I knew that I could change the world with something like that. I knew I could impact the masses. So what I did, and hold on to your horses because you're in for a huge surprise. What I decided to do is I said, I'm going to create this program and I'm going to make it a three to $5,000 program. And what I did was that's actually me on my dry erase wall, blueprinting everything out, reverse engineering the sales formula and creating what I call my immediate yes formula coaching program. Now you're going to love what I'm about to do and what you're about to hear. So I created this and it was designed to simulate me one-on-one -on -one sitting down with you, going over face-to-face, -face like, like as if we were on a, at a coffee shop. It's not one of those boring webinar, you know, like, and again, no offense to the presentation I'm doing right now, but it's not like, you know, screenshots like this. It's literally me sitting across the table from you with you with a workbook and checklist in hand with nine pages of questions to ask, how to build rapport, the whole deal. And then I literally walk through it with you. It's the same thing that you would have to pay three to $5,000 to get. But I decided to create this virtual training program, sell for $595. However, for everyone on this webinar right now, I have launched this program, but not launched, launched it. Like a couple of top leaders, I've done some private webinars for it. It's still in pre-launch. And for everyone on this webinar, you're going to get this entire 10 module course. 
if you decide to take action and invest in it tonight at the link below, you'll get it for only $147. Now that's a 76% discount. Now, before you make any decision, and some of you have already decided, you're watching this saying, I already can tell that it's worth it because I know just one little nugget will easily make up my, I could learn one thing and it would easily make up for $147. But I want, want you to just you know, hold on and, and watch this because I'm going to do something crazy here in a second. Now, number one, I'm going to walk you through and show you this exact course. I'm about to take you inside the back office of this site and show you all of the modules. I'm going to show you the action guide. I'm going to go behind the scenes because I don't want you to have to trust me. And I don't even want you to have to think for a second that, well, what if this isn't as good as it sounds? I'm going to let you see it. I believe in total transparency. I'm very unique like that. I know a lot of people, you know, think it's kind of crazy, but I'm literally just going to rip behind the scenes and show you. Now you can go to this page right now, mediayesformula.com forward slash special, and you'll see the price. You can see an outline of the overview. When you go there, by the way, actually, matter of fact, I would recommend everyone go to that page right now. Go to mediayesformula.com forward slash special. A video will autoplay. Go ahead and stop that video. Just pause it. Okay. So because you guys have probably noticed, I'm pretty upfront about expectations and I don't want anyone investing in this course, you know, thinking it's something that it wasn't, I'm going to tell you who it's for, who it's not for. And I'm going to literally break it down and show you. So here's what's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to literally rip behind. So let's just do this together. So you're going to see, we're going to go to immediateyesformula.com special. It'll forward you to a page that says course, make sure you put in that special price will be $147. It forwards you there automatically but you're tagged in, you're good with a discount for tonight. And you can just pause that video. You can go down and you can scroll down and you can literally see a breakdown of the module. So you can see exactly what you're going to learn. Secrets of closing those skeptical process, prospects, power questions. You can see everything here. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and take it a step further. So you can do that. Just pause the video and you can scroll down at any time in this video. And there's actually going to be a really good reason why you're going to want to do this right now, but you can go ahead and click on order now. When you click on that button, it will take you to another page where you can go ahead and get it and you can see the price will be reflected only for $147. As soon as you sign up, you get private access into the back office site here and you can see when you click on Immediate Yes Formula, you'll see the course that you're gonna get. So I'm literally gonna walk you through this. Now, you can see here there's a video and in this video, it's gonna break down the action guide. So I gotta show you this action guide. Now this is huge. Now by the way, um, I'd mentioned that you can actually get this course for free. I'm going to show you how in a second. When you buy the course, you actually become an affiliate for it. And as an affiliate, and I'm not going to get too much into this because that's not the main purpose of this. I just knew people were going to share this with their teams anyway. And I didn't want anyone to have to uh, have to be, you know, I, I wanted everyone to be able to make their money back really fast. I wanted people to, be able to get this for free. So if, if you buy the course and you share it with two people, you've essentially made your money back because you're going to make a 50% commission. You actually get a second 10% override tier off of everyone that buys too, which is pretty cool. But um, so that's a way that you can get the course right now. We pay at the beginning of the month. So you can go ahead and sign up two people. All right. You could do that today, tomorrow by sharing with them your custom link. And guess what? You've made your money back. All right. But let me show you this action guide and I'm going to show you what other people are saying. So the action guide. Okay. Um, when you go through it, this is what it looks like. So you can see there's multiple pages. It started me off right here. But it gives you quick tips on how to structure. It gives you quick tips on how to build each area. So trust and credibility, it talks about a little bit. It says, and it gives you hints. Now, it gives you things that we talk about in the videos. So it says, use baby nags on yourself. Use this type of humor to accelerate trust building. It gives you all kinds of quick little techniques that I do talk about, like the line and the greet, the show and tell versus the uh, to tell and show to build habitual trust patterns. So I go through it, and then it has questions. Like, how much trust does my prospect have in me? So again, if I was coaching and you just got done with the meeting, and you sat down with someone, I would ask you these questions. Hey, you know, how much trust did they have in you? And you're going to say, oh, they had a little old. How, did they trust you enough to watch their kids for the day? Well, I didn't have that level of trust. Well, then you, that's probably where you blew it. So let's go ahead and go back and figure out what you could have done to get that level of trust. You know, would they want to hang out with you on a personal basis? You know, do they see you as a salesperson? Did they think your goal was to sell? You know, so it goes through all these different questions. Again, there's like, pages and pages of this stuff. So, I mean, you can see, I mean, it's, this workbook's, you know, it's fairly stout. You know, there's 20, I don't even know how many pages in here, 27 pages. So let's scroll to the top and this is what it looks like. So you're going to print this thing out. You're going to carry this thing everywhere. Then there's a checklist that has similar questions to the ones I just showed you. It's a straight nine pages of questions to ask, to make sure that you're doing everything right. So let me show you the modules here. So we'll dip in we'll just start on, I don't know, let's just uh, go over here. So 
when you get this, you can see the video modules. Now, one of the things is they're very concise. We're just warming up here so you can see this video. But you can see already, like, this is great. I love the variable algebra. See, I've got comments. I'm going to show you guys something else. You also get ongoing training and support for free. I'm going to show you that in a second. But you can just see here, like, you know, my problem with prospecting is always being uncomfortable, talking with the people because I didn't know what to say and how to say things. I can see and believe how this is going to get me over my hump. This is These are the missing pieces I've been looking for. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, this young lady actually told me that she didn't have the money to buy the course. I talked to her for a few minutes. And she was trying to figure out, she, she's like, can I promote it first, make money and then do it? And I was like, no, look, you got to buy the course. It's the affiliate program's all I'm automatic. You know, I went through it and she told me she swore up and down she didn't have the money. And then after talking for a few minutes, she said, you know what? I do have my father, have some money for my father's estate. She invested in the course. And it's so cool to hear someone that was really struggling. And within like one of the first videos, she's like, I've already got the missing pieces I've been looking for. How awesome is that? So let's look at rapport. Okay. So this video focuses extremely just on rapport the different ways to do it. So let's just look at what other people are saying. So again, forget about me. Obviously, I'm going to say good things about it, but don't take my word for it. Oh man, in this video, I talk about this concept called info stacks and stack triggers. This is like the key to building rapport without being salesy and without looking like you're talking about yourself. It's so cool. So really great stuff. I can see how just the info stack trigger tip alone can alter the dynamic when trying to connect with someone before moving to the next step. You know, learned a lot from this video. Um, you know, I was taught that the presentation is about the prospect and not you, and I wasn't supposed to talk about myself. I always wondered how someone was supposed to get to know me if I couldn't tell them anything about me. Have you ever felt like that before? With the trigger points and info stacks, now I know I have a few info stacks made up already, and I'll be adding them, you know, as I go along. Thanks for the great info, Caesar. I love the stacks and triggers. Love the info stacks. I mean, you can just see here. Love the idea of stacks and triggers. So, you know, everyone during their sales process needs to be under the umbrella of rapport. I mean, you know, we just have, you know, Tony Robbins certified coach right there. I mean, like everyone that's going through this thing is just going crazy over it. So, you know, you can see here, and I'm just trying to show you in this video, we focus on building trust. So we're, we're tackling that second, the trust and credibility. So again, I show you the tricks to doing that. You know, I love the tell and show technique. It's a 180 on the norm. I've studied business for over 50 years. You've got some methods I've never heard before. Thanks again. You know, you completely blow me away, Caesar. I've never felt good about the show and tell process, but that's what everyone said to do. Still, it always felt canned. Like, have you ever done a presentation that felt like you're, it was kind of canned? You know, that, that's what she's talking about. It always seemed fake. You know, um, as a result, uh, I went off and did my own presentation, which is not at all duplicatable. Your show and tell spin is fantastic. I'm going to be doing it. You know, uh, so again, you can see this guy right here, Edward, cool guy. Uh, first and foremost, I watch all the vids. It was well, you know, and the investment was well worth it. You know, it's his second go around. So he's going through it twice. And he's talking about how this video had a huge, you know, uh, impact. And he's just talking about like, why wouldn't someone invest in yourself? As Eric Worre wrote in GoPro, it's not perfect. It's just better. So again, he's just talking about how excited he is about his investment. So, I mean, I don't know. We can just, we'll click on maybe like another one or two. And then I want to show you how you can get ongoing training and support here. You know, so again, in this one, we're tackling information. Remember, we're nailing every step. So I'm showing you how to ask the questions and get the, how to get your prospects to spill the beans. We're talking about how to get the pain trigger and create the problem. We're talking about how to craft that perfect solution to make your offer irresistible. How to build urgency properly in your business. And you can build urgency legitimately in your business. Whatever it is, I talk to you and teach you how you can do that in prospects, all right? Um, and create that vision in their eyes. You know, we talk about how to integrate this specifically with your business. I don't care what you're selling. You could sell, you know, lemonade at a lemonade stand tomorrow and use the yes formula. And then you could sell, you know, houses the next day. Okay. So it doesn't matter. So this is just so cool. This is Shannon talking about how the media yes formula, you know, oh, you know, this is so true. Wow. All companies tell you to lead with a product, you know, instead of, or their service, um, rather than just, and just share why you love it. You know, and she, she talks about how I love the media yes formula and how it's taught me to lead with the relationship. And that's just many, one of why, one of many of the reasons why my results skyrocketed after getting this course. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. The media yes formula is a real deal. Um, it's based on truth and info stacks to build rapport and trust, well, unlike nothing else. Um, I've seen this course amazing, keeps getting better every time I go through it. And Shannon has been through this course multiple times. Anna, most excellent tips here. Validate and separate is great. I love loading the gun. You know, I mean, so again, she's just referencing things that we talked about in here. Powerful stuff. The videos just keep getting better. You know, man, I had to rewind this video about 20 times to jot down the interrogation motivation script. That was insane. I love this course already, and I've still got four more modules to go, not to mention the bonus videos. Now I see, you know, why you took so long to finish this product. It's amazing. And that's true. This was a guy. I have had this product, guys. Um, 
I had been working on this for over a year and people had been, people had pre-ordered it a, a year ago when they just knew, when they heard, they said, oh my God, Cesar Rodriguez is coming out with a sales course. And I said, you can get on the pre-launch, you can sign up, buy it with your, uh, you know, you can put your credit card down, you know, and again, and I let them buy it only for $147. You guys are getting literally the same deal, you know, and they bought it before it was even complete. All right. But now they can see the value. So here's what's really cool. So you're getting an idea of what you get inside the course. Let me show you what else you get. Again, you can go at any time to mediateyesformula.com forward slash special. I will rewire you to the course page, buy the course at any time. You don't have to watch me go through all these, but when you buy the course, you actually have the opportunity to join our mastermind group. So that way you can ask perpetual questions. So you get a membership here to our Facebook mastermind group where you can ask questions, you can share thoughts, and you can really get um, you know, questions answered. So this is really cool because people ask questions in here all the time. Like Javier, I just started the question, you know, I just started the course, blah, blah, blah. So you can do that. And people post their testimonials, people share stories. It's really cool. They share their success, but I'll just, we'll just go down to the bottom and look up. So, you know, you can see here picking up gold nuggets from the IYF videos. So I just want you guys to see what other people are saying about it, you know, um, and, and just the love that there is in this group. Okay. So, I mean, you've got tons and tons of people you know, saying awesome, awesome things. Love the part about interrogation, motivation, giving people a reason to be honest with you. So you can see the testimonies. I love every part of the media yes formula. So many excellent tips that I'll be using from now on. Wish I'd known this stuff when I was going through my war market a couple of years ago. Yeah, hey, Anna, you need both. Uh, most of them are tired of hearing from me about the company. And I definitely got the sounds too good to be true remark more than once. I didn't realize it was an objection before. You've really opened my eyes on that. I love the info stacks, the talent show, embedding what they'll learn in the video. I mean, before I show it to them, all of it, you demand. That's awesome. Okay, so Manny Torres, what's up, buddy? So um, you can see here, uh, Adrian, my, you know, so again, oh, so he's just talking about like the stuff that I say in there. Caesar's course is a must for everyone who needs sales skills. Ray Higdon, for those of you that don't know, he's the number one money earner in this company. And he's the first person I let promote this. So a lot of people in this group are from Ray's team. Ray Higdon is a number one money earner with his company. He got this course was, and he, and he actually was super excited to go through it and promoted it to his entire list, which was massive by the way. So this is one of the most influential people in, in, in the whole network marketing industry, number one money earner with his company. You know, he just put on a huge event that we just loved, had a blast at, uh, recently, uh, top runner Academy, but he does not promote he barely promotes anything that's outside of his own or something unless he really feels it. And he loved this and he wanted his team to be better at closing. And he's like, man, this is awesome. I could train him, but Hey, why not just let you do it Caesar? And he did this and you know, about almost everyone on his list bought the course uh, cause they loved it so much. And so a lot of these people are sharing testimonials. So, you know, so you can just see, and I'm just kind of going through, Oh, this is cool. I love Anthony. Um, there's kind of a funny story about Anthony. I'll, I'll, I'll save it out cause I got something else cool to show you guys as well. Um, after I'm done showing you these testimonials, but first off, this is probably one of the most amazing, one of the more amazing things I've, that has ever been placed in front of me. Now, Anthony, I want, to, I, I will tell you a little bit about the story. He literally text messaged me and said, Caesar, I'm not sure if I should get this course or not, because no joke. He goes, I'm not the best looking person. I don't look like you. I'm not as sharp and as polished as you. And you know, do you really think that I can, that I can get results with this thing? And I laughed and he said, and he also said, Hey, look, man, please tell me I'm crazy. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, and I told him, I was like, you're definitely crazy, dude. You're definitely crazy. And, uh, and I, and I shared this with him and here's what ended up happening. This is shortly after getting it. I said, dude, get this course. It doesn't matter what you look like. I said, I've trained people that are tatted up with tattoos all up to their neck, looking like they just got out of prison. And I've seen those guys sell people timeshare and, and succeed in network marketing. Like you wouldn't believe it. it doesn't matter what you look like. And, uh, and he's not a bad looking guy, by the way. Um, and, but he said, he said, I'm huge on personal development. Yeah. And then he says a couple things. He goes, uh, the most, this is one of the most amazing things that was ever placed in front of me. That's powerful. Now I want you to, to listen to this because I think a lot of people can really relate. He said, up until recently, I've been doing it so wrong. When I call people, I ask them if they're interested in a home opportunity, explain my story, throw in some fact about my opportunity and fluff them up. I thought this was normal. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I've been doing it wrong the entire time. And I will never do it again. The checklist is getting laminated. He's talking about the immediate yes formula checklist that has tons and tons of questions. That is literally like me coaching you before, during, and after every call. He said it's getting laminated and I'm going to be practicing on all of my calls because you want to have this out when you're making phone calls, by the way. And then I'm going out in the cold market once I master. This is probably the best thing I've ever paid into 
and this entire series is laced with genius. You'd be insane, he's talking to you right now, to not tell everyone you know about this. Every person on your team in your primary business should know about this. Every person in your upline should know about this. Even if you have friends in sales outside of this industry, they should know about this. Thank you, Caesar, for this amazing course. Wow. Love you too, Anthony. That was cool. I'm learning quite a bit from the media. Yes, formula. I have not gone through the whole course yet as I like to take lots of notes and that, and that takes time. And when I have to stop and rewind and catch, but it's however worth the extra time. I've started to use the affiliate lead capture system and I already got my first lead today. Woohoo. Thanks Caesar. So matter of fact, I'm going to transition to something really quick. Okay. I want to just show you, you know, one or two things, but with the immediate yes form, you get a full blown immediate, you get a full blown lead capture system. And this is sick. I'm going to show you the types of capture pages you get, the links that you get. It's insane. All the things that I do to try and help you to make your money back. Okay. You can literally buy the course right now. We pay out around the beginning of the month through PayPal. We show you, I can set up a link and do all that type of stuff through PayPal and get paid, but you can literally go out there right now, turn around. You can go into your back office, blast this link, put it on Facebook, share it with your team. We teach you how to do that by the way, because we have an affiliate partner training section as well inside the back office. You could sell two, three people and get your money back within a couple of days because I literally pay that fast. All right. But if you look to think I almost missed out on this course and didn't buy it because I told myself, I didn't think I had the money. But then I thought, wait a second, this training will probably help me to get that new car or pay off some of those future student loans. And guess what? He was right. That's what he says. I'm not even done with the course yet, but after going through just six of the modules, I have to say thank you so much for encouraging me to get this course when we chatted and I was on the fence. So we went back and forth uh, over just like some uh, Facebook messaging. All right. This course has helped me a ton already in the aspect of personal development, which I know is huge in this industry. I've always considered myself a great public speaker and even considered myself an above average when it comes to approaching individuals about my business opportunity. But I have to say the immediate yes form is going to give me the edge I was looking for. So again, if you're looking to get the edge, here's, here's where it is. What I like about this course is that you really learn a lot about how to approach people without seeming salesy and how to create situations that give you the advantage. I feel as though this is a truly fantastic learning tool. I just want to take the time to thank you for all of your help. I consider you, Caesar, one of my mentors, even though we've only been in contact for about a week. This past, this past week has shown me that you really care. You're very genuine. Oh, you're a very genuine and caring individual who cares about his students. I'm looking forward to working with you and learning more in the future. Jesse, so glad I purchased the course. Just got done with my session a couple of days ago. How amazing. I love, and this is huge because again, what was my goal? I wanted to create a virtual training program. I wanted to give you the feeling of being across the table from me and look at what he says. I love how natural and real Caesar is in his training videos and how it feels like you're sitting across the table from him in a one-on-one -on -one session. Thing I love most is that I can pause and rewind when I take notes and it makes it that much more effective. Caesar, thank you for this breakthrough training program and for being so unselfish with your experiences and knowledge. You're a great contributor to the industry. So again, this is just what other people are saying and I can go on and on, but I won't. I think you guys get the point. I just really wanted to share with you guys, you know, some, some real deal testimonials. So you guys get it. All right. Um, so let me just go ahead and move out of here and show you guys something else um, that you get. So this is what you're going to get as your affiliate system. So a lot of times people go, well, man, this is cool, but I need more people to, to talk to Caesar, right? So many people, one of the biggest problems is they go, oh, I don't, I need leads. I need leads for my business. I need leads of people to talk to. I got all these closing skills, but I, I want to, I want to now have people to talk to. So guess what? No problem. You get 20 plus capture pages guys for this. So we can just go ahead and, you know, we'll just fire one up I'll just go over here, open it in a new window. And you get capture pages so that you can start posting this stuff all over the place. So attention sales pros, free training reveals a sales blueprint, an IYF closing formula that gets prospects to buy immediately without objections. When someone actually opts into this, they're taken to another page that actually asks them to put in their phone number and their name and whether or not they're network marketing or not. So that way, if you are, you kind of know who you're talking to. You've got a little something you can bring, it, bring up to the table. But we've got tons and tons of capture pages. I mean, look at this one. Here's another one. And, you know, they all target slightly different things. That one targets salespeople. This one has a cool video, gets them to opt in. And again, when someone opts in, you immediately get their name and phone number instantly delivered to your inbox. So that's a person that you can call. Maybe you posted an ad somewhere. Maybe you posted an, an ad. Maybe you posted a link on Facebook. Maybe you were in another Facebook group. Maybe you were clever and you said, hey, I know I'm going to go into Facebook. I'm going to look at groups that have salespeople in it a real estate market or real estate people or mortgage brokers, or I'm going to find a niche of people that need to learn how to sell, or I'm going to go to some network marketing groups and I'm going to say, Hey man, I got this cool program. And you, you know, you'll put a link out there. 
and people will opt in. You'll get an email. You can call them up. And the, if they buy the course, you get 50% commission just like that. All right. And you also have a lead. So even if they don't buy the course, you can call them and be like, hey, man, what's up? What do you do? Obviously, you're looking for more training. That's cool. What's your business? Tell me about it. And you can sell them. You can, again, use what you learn in the media. Yes, some of you guys might now be freaking out going, oh, my God, what would I say? How would I say it? That's only because you haven't been through the course yet, right? Once you go through the course, you're going to know exactly how to make what seems like an uncomfortable call now. Or maybe you're thinking, that could be weird. What would I say? You're going to know exactly what to say and how to say it. That's the type of stuff that you learn in this course. So here's the deal. If you believe that you're worth investing into, you don't see any reason why you shouldn't get this program. I challenge you to invest in it tonight for only $147 and save 76% off of the $595 that it normally retails for. So that's my challenge for you tonight. And I'll leave you with this. It's my favorite quote. And I don't just say that because I created it, right? But it's always play to win and never play to keep from losing. So play to win, take a chance on you investing yourself. That's my challenge for you tonight.